Here we go. Maui, he's playing with you. Oh, <laughs> you scared. It's okay, Zero. <laughs> Cats are so jumpy. Looks like you win that round. <laughs> you okay, Zero? I know, scary world. Sometimes he loves the camera, sometimes he doesn't. Guys, how are you? My name is David Franco and welcome to the weekend of Lockerty Vlog. Got a lot of work ahead of me. This is my last weekend before next weekend's Christmas party. I have a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of prepping to do. Thankfully, a lot of the help is gonna come from my parents. Pretty sure they're gonna come here Sunday night. Maybe we'll even do dinner here on Sunday, get, get some pizza or whatever. But yeah, um, we have a lot to do. Next week's party is going to be insane, and of course I will be vlogging it, guys. I'm going to vlog it like crazy. It's going to be a lot of fun. And plus, I'm going to be seeing a lot of my friends that I've made over the years on YouTube. Um, so it's going to be pretty sweet. You hear that beep? That means there's coffee, and that coffee needs to be inside of me, like right now. So let's make it a good weekend. And I mean a good weekend. Oh, fine, come here. Every time I try to do my intro, you guys ask, well, David, Take us upstairs. Update us in your life. We will pretend we care. Okay, thank you guys. I appreciate that. I bought a TV stand. And there it is. Obviously, it's not built yet. But yeah, it's going to be really, really nice. I got some sliding barn doors. Yes, the doors actually slide back and forth. And it's going to replace this. Or, I should say these. You may not realize it, but this is technically two different pieces. They're just stacked. And I just realized I never took the stickers off. Come on, David, come on. All right, so I believe all this storage is actually gonna go into the basement to coincide with my tech museum plan that I have for January and beyond. Beyond. And of course, last night's stream was amazing, guys. As always, thank you so much. There was so much positivity, so much conversation in the chat. So thank you for being you. And here's my gameplay from last night. Usually the day after, I tend to check my VOD just to see how the quality looks. And I gotta say, lately, I am very, very happy with how things are looking and sounding. And, <laughs> guys, I cannot express enough how happy I am to say that because having a dual PC setup makes your stream more convenient, but it also introduces that many more things that could go wrong. But uh, thankfully, I'm pretty much to the point where I'm happy. There's a couple more tweaks I want to do, including some new hardware, but I'll worry about that after Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, I got this dude. What's up, Zero? Say hi. Good boy. I got, I got Zero a little house. Yes, I actually got him a little house that I'm gonna put out here on the deck. So I can finally take this g looking blanket out that he never even uses anymore. It's, it's, it's kind of like an outdoor weatherproof heated house that uses an extension cord. Just gotta find an outlet to use. Hey, if I can't find an outlet, then at least I'll give him the house and worry about getting it heated later. Here's Zero, want some food? And I got cat food coming today too. Today's a cat themed day. Here you go. Good boy. Enjoy. So guys, how was your week? Let me know. Have you been productive? I know I have. This week was definitely a productive week for me. I am happy to say that I am back on track with working on my website work. Because last week was all about Thanksgiving for me. It was a very busy week for me last week. Um, and speaking of that, I have a bunch of vlogs to publish today. Black Friday 2019, last weekend's vlog, today's Pigeons Only vlog. Oh, and yeah, speaking of that again, I guess I should go on YouTube and preview the vlog because it's over an hour long, so. It's gonna, it's gonna cuts. take a bit of time to preview. Okay, um, it's making a good day. And today I might finally open a P.O. box. I've, I've actually had people go out of their way recently, because I guess of the holidays, and say, David, open a P.O. box. So I might actually do that today. 
Stay tuned. Look at that. I even drink coffee during the week. Shocking, I know. It's not exactly what it should be right now. So I'm tired. And there's zero. Hey, zero. Enjoy your food, my dude. It's like vlogception right now. Oh, hey, hey, got some email to catch up on. Got to preview this vlog. Probably get some design work what done. What a weekend between Thanksgiving Let's and Let's go. All right. Fast forwarding by a little bit of time. What is it now? 2.34 p.m. And guys, I just published four vlogs. The exclusive vlog. Thanksgiving 2019. Whoa! I know, Doc. I know. It's insane. Black Friday 2019. Cannot wait to build that TV stand. And finally, Black Friday weekend, which is the weekend vlog. Also, huge news, guys. Let me put this down so I can focus on you. Focus on you and only you. Hey, Mrs. Claus. I see, I see you looking at me over there, baby. I see you looking at me. Get back to work. Guys, I opened up a P.O. box. I paid in advance for six months. So hopefully it's worth it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying send me stuff. I'm not. I mean, obviously, I'm always buying myself tech and little gadgets and toys and whatever. Uh, but people have asked me for years, literally years, David, when are you opening a P.O. Box? Well, guys, I have good news. It's finally done. It's live. And if all goes well, the address is linked right below. I, I say that because I haven't actually gone to the post office yet. I will be going shortly. Just want to finish my cup of coffee. Um, and I chose the P.O. Box at the post office nearest to Rudders because that's just convenient for me. I'm always at Rudders, so if I'm at Rudders and I get a package alert, because I believe they email you when, you when you get packages, which is actually really cool, I, don't know I can literally go across the streets and pick up my package. It's perfect. It's perfect. So, guys, thank you so much for your support. And if I do happen to receive gifts from you or letters or anything... First of all, know that I truly am grateful. I don't encourage you to send me things. That's completely up to you. Completely up to you. I cannot express that enough. Um, but number two, I will be making a series, provided I do receive whatever. Again, letters, gifts, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just the fact that you go out of your way to send me something to begin with means a lot to me. Um, so I will be making a series in the future. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but I've seen other YouTubers do this for years now saying like P.O. Box Hall or something like that. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. And of course, thank you so much for your support. Cheers to the next six months. 2020 is going to be a good year, guys. It's going to be a really, really good year. Now to get to the post office to actually open the P.O. Box. I'll get there soon. And then i got to come back here, eat lunch, and do the TV stand. Not like do the TV stand. I'm not into that, but I mean like actually build the TV stand. Um, yeah, I know, I had to clarify that. Also, check it out. I organized everything in my Google Home app, so now I can turn on and off lights easily without using my voice if I don't feel like it for whatever reason. I have everything categorized under my bedroom. My brand new TV, which actually is an Android TV, pretty cool. Upstairs thermostats and Nest. All right, he's doing his dot cast. Which means, yeah, he's going to be talking a lot. Gaming room, lights, nine lights, which is insane. My kitchen, my Nest Hub Max, which I'm loving. Downstairs, Nest in the kitchen. Living room is the Christmas tree. Check it out. Tap on, and it turns on, but it turns on automatically every day at five. So for now, I'll leave that off. And this is a light. I have no idea what it is. It's not connected anymore. See, it doesn't do anything. I don't know what that is. I, I gotta figure that out. But yeah, I'm loving it. And if you're curious, check out the Nest Hub Max. Hey Google, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. What can I help you with? Nothing. Okay, I'll be here when you need me. Nice tone of voice. Did you hear that? She actually sounded legit. Hello, Sully and Jamion. So yes, I still am using my Echo Show. I'm not going to keep it there, um, but this is definitely more elegant looking. And yes, these are my pictures that I took years ago in New York City. I am very, very proud of these pictures. I love them so much. Pretty cool, right? That right there will always be a favorite photo of mine. Yes, I took that picture. I'm very, very proud of this.
I mean, I don't talk about photography that often, but it's definitely something I enjoy doing. And it's something I want to get better at, too, you know? I don't think I'm bad. I just have to get out there and shoot more often. I'll be laughing. I'm at the post office. I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip in case you are also thinking of opening a, opening a P.O. box. This information is online, but I, I can save you some time. So basically, you need two forms of ID. One photo and one non-photo is perfectly fine. Um, I have my driver's license and the other photo, I mean the other ID I have, is my vehicle insurance. Which is fine, because it has my address on it. Also, you'll get this form. I don't want to show you, because it's plastered with my personal information. Uh, basically, this is the online application for post office box service. There is a number for, oh. PS form 1093. So you fill that out, you initial it, you sign it, you check the right boxes, bada bing, bada boom, you bring that in with your ID and you should be good to go. And of course you pay online. You don't, you don't have to pay at the post office. But with that said, I don't see why you can't open a PO box in person. I just prefer to do everything online. Okay, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Woo! Also it's raining out, which isn't relevant, but I like rain. And this is where your packages will be sent. I'm excited, guys. This is the start of something new on my channel. Literally, years in the making. I'm so sorry it took me this long. Wet feet. It's official. Two keys, which is pretty nice. Two keys to my very own P.O. Box number 66. <laughs> that would have been great if it was 66 or 69. Damn, so close to 69. That's a okay. guy. 66, easy, easy number to remember. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Wouldn't have done it without you. The, the lady knew me right away. She's like, wait, David DeFranco, security business? I'm like, yeah, that's, that's my dad. And she's like, oh my God, you look just like him. Like the second you walked in, I'm like, I know, I get that all the time. And she, she was amazed. She, she was like, um, so is this your change of address? I'm like, no, 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 no. I have... I kind of hesitated because it's always weird to explain it. So I was like, I, I've been doing YouTube for 13 years and sometimes viewers want to send me things and it kind of turned into my job. She's like, wait a minute, you work on YouTube? I'm like, yeah, between YouTube and website work and design work and all that stuff. She's like, wow. Then she told me she doesn't even have an email address. How do you get through life without an email address? That's just, it's crazy. And she wasn't even like old. No, no, no offense to old people, but typically you expect that from like the elderly because they're like, I don't need no darn email address. But anyway, guys, P.O. Box 66, the information is right below. It's officially mine. I don't know why the auto white balance is doing so poorly right now. And there's zero. Of course, he greeted me out front when I pulled up. And he ran through my garage, through the house, <laughs> and I gave him some food. Guys, I got a buffalo chicken sandwich. Oh, and I recorded my, hey, Maui, my um, Countdown to Christmas 2019 video in my car. Yes, I'm trying to use a new angle every single day. Hey, Maui. All right, so got some mozzarella sticks and a buffalo chicken sandwich. Should be good. It's marinara sauce. Today's a good day. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch, enjoy something on Netflix, Apple TV, Disney Plus, whatever, and then I'm gonna go upstairs and start building my TV stand. Let's keep the day going. So I just watched a new show on Netflix called V Wars. How is stuff like this greenlit? I don't get it. If I can recognize how bad a show is, how come these so-called professionals cannot see that as well? Like, the production quality is such lacking. <laughs> it's so lacking. Acting is okay. Camera angles are weak. Sound effects, they use that stupid door opening sound effect for when they open a door. You don't need to do that. People see her do that shit. Oh, that makes me so mad. But with that said, episode one was good enough where I'll watch episode two. You didn't see that coming, did you? It was, it was still pretty bad, though. Netflix, if you need to keep your customers on board, stop putting out crap like this as well. The Island, terrible, 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 terrible show. Horrible. Like, one of the worst shows I've ever seen. Like, it's that bad. It, it has such potential, too. But I'm telling you, um, Apple TV Plus has yet to disappoint me. And speaking of, I got alerts saying there's new episodes of C and The Morning Show. So I'm going to watch The Morning Show tonight. Oh, 
and Servant. If you guys are looking for a potentially creepy show, Servant on Apple TV Plus is actually quite good. I'm telling you, there's something about the production quality of every single Apple TV show I've watched that just screams premium. Season finale? Whoa, 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 whoa. C is ending already? Damn. Huh? It's episode 8. That's not too bad for a first season. God, that was quick. Great show if you haven't seen it yet. Okay. I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh, no, 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 no. Turn it back on. I'm gonna watch some Twitch in the background while I edit today's countdown video. And then I will go upstairs and build my furniture. This camera's having trouble focusing tonight, isn't it? Look at this. I am surrounded by mediocrity. Quick correction, I just want to say mediocrity. Sorry, kind of came out weird. Hey, Maui. Did I wake you? I'm sorry. He's like, David, it's so bright. I'm sorry, Maui. I will be in here for the next hour or two. Now, the thing is, I'm actually going to leave the TV on for a little while. Yes, my bed's not made. Don't judge me! Because I, I need something to watch in the background, right? There you go. God, look how massive that is, guys. It's such a big TV. And what's cool is, I'll say it again, this 50-inch will be going in the basement for something. I don't know. The basement is just going to be filled with extra tech that I'm not using. I'm going to watch a movie to keep myself occupied. And then once the stand is built, I'll take the TV down and then put hopefully this stand in its place. I say hopefully because you never know if something's going to go wrong. Also, I do have another package down there in the kitchen that goes with this setup. I'll talk about that later. So this is what I have to work with. That's not too much hardware. Pieces over here, pieces over there. I'm watching Bad Santa too. Not nearly as good as the first one, from what I recall. Honestly, I didn't even really pay much attention the first time I watched this, because it really wasn't that good. The first one's amazing. This one, ugh. And by the way, the TV looks better than it does on camera from the side. You're, you're just getting a glare because of the light. I'm just throwing that out there. Because I know there's always going to be like, oh, David, you got a shit teeth. Relax yourself, all right? All right. I'm going to have to call it there. Gotta get some dinner and do a little bit of shopping. Guys, this is what I have so far. It's not a hard build, but it's definitely quite involved. There's a lot of steps, especially considering, again, this is like a sliding barn door design. So the doors actually will slide. And I think that's tomorrow. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going to pick up. I left off right here, putting these BS pieces on the back. You don't need them. You really don't. So I just added four of them for now. And by for now, I mean, that's it. Think of them as mental reinforcements. You don't need them. So I believe tomorrow I will pick up with step 15 and we'll finish. See, look at that. I still have a little ways to go to step 22. Pretty cool. And if you guys want this exact stand, I got to say, so far, I'm quite impressed. I will link it right below. Tonight, I'm feeling some McDonald's hotcakes. Ooh, baby. With an extra sausage. Oh, baby, get in me. Get in me right now. I need you. Seriously, they're pancakes. I don't know what they put in them, but damn, they're good. I'm not mad. And I might hit up Walmart tonight. I need apples. I, I love having, having, having apples and peanut butter. And plus, I need other things like milk and whatever. Plus, Walmart's cheaper than Target. I love Target, but lately, I've been a little bit of a Walmart kick. Hence this TV, $278, now that's a deal. There's a lot of stupid drivers out tonight. <laughs> I don't understand how the brain doesn't function properly. But it's okay, it's Christmas. Be nice around the holidays. But come January, slice and dice. I love this song by the way. Flashback to Christmas 2006, one of my very first YouTube videos. Okay, it wasn't exactly Christmas 2006, but it was during the Christmas 2006 season. Roll it! Ah! 
I swear I wasn't opening it. Got a couple more days to go. Not only have we come an incredibly long way in overall quality, but Davy Boy's put on some weight. People feel the need to tell me that every week. Guys, this may be shocking to you, but I do have a mirror. I do. I look at myself every single day. And I'm not ashamed. I am who I am. By the way, I'm at Target. I'll, I'll just do Walmart tomorrow. As long as I get milk for my cereal tonight, that's all I care about. It seems so long since my, I my say, I love Christmas music. Guys, I gotta be honest. A while ago, I kind of bumped the McDonald's app off my home screen. Look at that. It's on home screen number two. For shame. I'm just not here as much. I'm all about that Taco Bell, but I definitely feel like McDonald's tonight. I'm taking hotcakes, two sausages. I'm just got a Wawa for coffee, which is actually right through there. Damn it! Thankfully, it's attached to a cable. Don't fall out. Isn't that the worst when you drop stuff between your seats? Anyway, that light right back there is Wawa. Whoa! Nice focus job, Sony! Holy shit! You got lucky! You got lucky! Hold on, here we go. This is the main subject. Does it know? Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, alright! What am I, E.T.? E.T. Phone home. Alright. Anyway. Guys, focus! God, you get distracted. So, hotcakes, two sausages, coffee at Wawa. And I'm thinking for in the car, a dollar off large fries. That sounds good. Man, I'm hungry. I am legit hungry tonight. I love my iPhone without a case, but my God, is it slippery. All right. Got my hotcakes. With two sausages. Oh my God. Two breakfast burritos, which I'll have tomorrow. And, as I mentioned, a large fry, dollar off, baby. Mmm, oh my god. They're <laughs> so hot, dude. Mmm. Yo, they're glistening. Mmm, dude. And I did not get a drink. Because I have water. Oh my god. These are really hot. Salty too, which I like. Mm. Mm. Shout out to Mr. Bongo. I'm pretty sure it was you. I think a while ago? You, you said in Denny's chat on Twitch, why are McDonald's fries always so soggy? Your McDonald's must not be doing things right. Look. Does this look soggy to you? Nice and crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, they're hot. Dude, these are fresh as fuck! And I'm home. Got lots of food to eat. Alright, quick Target haul. Pretend like you care. Green Giant Broccoli and Cheese. Check it out. They rebranded. And honestly, I love it. Look at all that white. Looks so nice. Got a big old bag of grapes. Figured that's a good gaming snack. I actually do eat fruits and veggies all the time. I, I, I saw someone comment saying, drinking game, take a shot every time David eats a veggie. I'd be drunk. This may be shocking to say out loud, but we, we YouTubers, we don't vlog every single minute of our lives. It's so important to keep this in mind, guys. The average weekend has what, 72 hours? And you see maybe 45 minutes to 90 minutes. So just saying, just saying, have faith in me. I eat fruit and veggies all the time. I love fruit and veggies. But then again, in the world of YouTube, if it doesn't happen on video, I guess it doesn't really happen, right? That's, that's the mindset. Um, hell of a good dip. Hell yeah. And guys, let me tell you, it's a hell of a good dip. Milk. The one thing I went there for. Chips for my dip. These I've never had. These I understand are unhealthy, but I really don't care. Oh, Maui found a new box. Enjoy, Maui. 
I've never had these before. Angus sliders, the classic. Might have them tomorrow. I bought more pizza rolls for the code alone. So putting this second code in, which is right there, will give me a watch in Modern Warfare, which is great, because last night I got a calling card, so tonight I get a watch, and the next one I get a charm. The charm I don't really care about, but I definitely want the watch, and I bought these specifically for that. So that's the kind of advertising and marketing that works. God, I love it. And of course my hotcakes, blah, blah, blah. Got some coffee at Wawa. Tonight was a good night, and Zero's house is out there, but I'll wait until tomorrow to show you that. I need food. And by the way, Zero did greet me when I pulled into the driveway. He's such a good cat. Hey, I know the heat's going. Auxiliary heat, which means it's gonna cost me a little bit of money. Watch this. Here we go. Maui, he's playing with you. Oh, God. <laughs> you scared. It's okay, Zero. <laughs> Cats are so jumpy. Looks like you win that round. <laughs> you okay, Zero? I know, scary world. You're such a good cat. You want more food? Yeah, we're getting to the bottom here, dude. There's his house. I will do a house tour tomorrow. All right, enjoy. I'm gonna eat dinner. Finally. At 10 freaking p.m. And of course, by the time I'm done the morning show, it's gonna be like 11 o'clock, so late stream tonight. Okay. So I just watched episode 8 of the morning show. Please answer me this. How is that not the season finale? How can an episode be that good and not be the cliffhanger for season 2? I am not exaggerating when I say that is one of the best episodes of TV that I have ever seen. It was directed so well, the script was on point, this is how you do TV. And Apple's doing it. Apple's doing it, my favorite brand. <laughs> we live in an amazing times right now. The best, most powerful episode yet. It basically covers the shootings in Vegas that happened a while ago. Terrible, terrible, but just the way they present it. It's done in passion, it's done with passion. And leading up until the very end of the show, because this show goes back in time, and it gives you a glimpse of what Mitch Kessler was really like, and the things that happened behind the scenes, and it makes you think, how often does this really happen behind the scenes? I mean, things we see on camera are just one side of the big picture, one side of the story, but things that happen behind the camera, you have no idea what's happening then. Anyway guys, you have to watch episode 8. It really was that good. I'm not exaggerating. It was incredible. There's even a warning in the beginning. Let's just say that. Alright, so now it's like 11.30. Still gotta get my shower. Then I'm going live on Twitch. Late night tonight. God, that's good! Whoa. I didn't even say anything. It just said, good morning, David, because it recognized it was me and it's the morning hours. Dude, that's pretty cool. Guys, it's 6 or 7 in the morning, which isn't too bad for me. Usually I go to bed around 8 on the weekends. Let's see if I can find Zero. Zero? He's not using his house yet. I don't think he understands that it's for him. In time in time and of course I'll try to get it heated zero come on zero I love that zero come on I thought I heard him guys thank you so much for a very successful stream tonight yo there's actually ice on the deck Look at that. Dude, <laughs> it's very slippery. Wow. I don't think he's awake, at least around here. Either way, I'll leave out food for him. Ugh. Tomorrow I'll give you a house tour. <laughs> it's cold out there, 28 degrees. 
<sighs> anyway, good time, Sunny guys. We, we hosted open lobbies in Modern Warfare, which is a lot of fun. And for those who don't know, open lobbies is exactly what it sounds like. It means the lobbies are public. They're completely open uh, for the chat room to join me and my fellow people, my fellow players. You know, it's a community event. Good boy, Maui. You just peed. Hey guys, I'm going to bed. Uh, my main priority later today is to finish building my TV stand. Probably go to Walmart again. That was legit fun last weekend because I want to do some more Christmas shopping. And plus, stupid me forgot to buy sugar tonight at Target. So I guess I'll do that later today at Walmart. Okay, this is just riveting footage. I need sleep. I'm tired. Happy Saturday, my fellow peeps. Today is not going to be as exciting as last Saturday. I've canceled my shopping plans for today. I figured it's better to stay around here and get some things done around the house. I want to finish my TV stand, like I made very clear. I want to get these boxes out of here. Um, and I want to start cleaning my house for the party in less than a week. Actually, exactly a week from today. I was, I was thinking of Danny getting here this Friday. Crazy. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so today, it's kind of like a stay at home, get things done around the house, clean up around the house kind of day, you know? Plus, I want to spend time with this dude. What's up, Z? Look at that brand new food. Oh, baby. Yeah. Whoa, 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 look at me. Look at me. Is that blood on you? Hey. No, never mind. Sometimes he comes back with his with blood on his mouth. <laughs> Which means he's been hunting. Excuse me. I almost called you Blanks. Oh my god. Excuse me, Zero. Hi. Anyway, guys, as promised, this is a tour of Zero's house. It's got a front door and a back door. It is uh, Velcro, so you can easily put it together. I, I gotta fix that one a little bit. I found out after the fact there are plastic flaps that I can put on each side because there's Velcro on the inside. I can I can actually feel it. <clears throat> which I guess blocks the airflow. So, um, yeah. And I had a dream I found an outlet on the side of my house. Clearly that was a dream because I, I don't see one. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that. If I can't get it to warm up, that's not a huge deal. I mean, shelter is shelter, right, Zero? I don't know where he goes at night. Nothing around here. Hi. He's such a sweet cat. Come on, Zero, come on. Come on. <laughs> he just follows me. Come on, Zero. Come on. <laughs> Good boy. You're so cool. Come on. <laughs> you want to go in for a bit? Come on. Go inside. Good boy. Go ahead. Keep on going. Come on. Come on, Zero. Hi. There you go, Kai. Yeah, I'll get him in. All right, I'm gonna make my coffee, have some breakfast burritos, guys. It's already 3:30. I went to bed very late. I woke up late. No regrets. My body needed it, and we'll do it again tonight. I know. Also, check this out. First of all, this is the heated part. I really wish I could find an outlet outside. Yes, this thing actually heats up, which is really cool. And it included this. I just thought it was built into the house, but the fact that they gave me a separate one, that's really cool. An outdoor timer. So I could I could easily use this for other things, you know, like, like my Christmas lights and whatever. Or this, if I get it working. You want more food? Yeah, you do. Here you go. Enjoy, okay? Enjoy. Davy Boy is gonna eat as well. Davy Boy is hungry. Why does Davy Boy speak about himself in the third person? I don't know. Do you see that swinging? I'm telling you, my house is haunted. Now that's just that's just the air vent down there, guys. I just watched a new show on Apple TV Plus. The TV's off right now, but just picture it, all right? Picture it. Called Truth Be Told, starring Aaron Paul. First of all. 
Who doesn't like Aaron Paul? He's just great. Who dat? Someone's turning around outside. Second of all, really good show. Third of all, that's four shows on Apple TV Plus that I've been enjoying. The Morning Show, C, Servant, and Now Truth Be Told. Apple, you're killing it. All right, guys, it's already 5.50. Look how freaking dark it is. That's, that's what happens when you wake up late. All right, time to finally go upstairs, finish this TV, bleh, TV stand. Then I want to come back down and probably watch more Apple TV+. Plus. Today's not going to be a very productive day. That's okay. Hi, Maui. <laughs> you in a deep sleep? You okay? Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to wake you. I know, I know. I need to hang up my clothes. I'll probably do that tonight, actually. I'm telling you, I'm getting this house in order. You know, at some point, you're just, I don't know, you get, you get comfortable, and then things become messy. Although, one thing, if you haven't noticed, my gaming room, it's currently closed. My gaming room is typically always clean. And my office. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I get so much satisfaction when building furniture, especially when it comes to using a drill. There's just something about it. It feels great. Just to feel that torque. I love it. But then again, I've always been a physical kind of person, you know? I'm almost done. Currently putting the doors together. There are the doors. Alright, now what? I gotta put those plates up top. Actually, that's probably gonna be the bottom. Hey, Maui. Are you gonna clean that up? All right, I'll clean it up. Guys, what do you think? Very classy, right? Of course, it's not done yet. But check it out. Sliding barn doors. Isn't that cool? What's funny is this used to not be my style, but I've kind of evolved away from the white furniture, which I still love, by the way. White against some kind of dark wood, in my opinion, is a really, really nice contrast. Okay. So, I turned on the camera for a reason. I was going to wait until I'm done, but I forgot I have this. I could not find, for the life of me, I seriously could not find a TV riser with the proper amount of width and one that looked good against that color wood. So, I came across this. A tabletop TV stand. Instead of a riser, you mount this stand on the back where you would normally mount a TV mount for the wall. And by the way, I've had people say, David, why don't you mount it? I don't want to mount it. Simple as that. I really, I really don't want to mount this TV uh, because there's a good chance I could swap this TV in six months for something better. And I like, I like the convenience of being able to literally just rip it off the, the um, TV stand itself and put a new TV in its place. And when you mount a TV, yeah, it looks nice. Um, you just put up a huge obstacle of doing anything with it in the future. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. People always seem to say, well, David, why don't you do things this way? I do things certain ways for very important reasons. I think ahead. I do. Now downstairs, in the living room, yes, that TV will be mounted because in theory, I'm not going to swap out that TV for at least a couple years. But this one, like I said, it could very well be replaced in six months. Who knows? Okay, so I'm going to get started on mounting this. And it actually raises the TV quite a bit because right now, as beautiful as the stand is, it's about, I think, what? three to five inches lower than what I'm used to. And when you factor in being in bed over here, which is currently filled with stuff, it's a little too low, right? Maybe. Huh, I don't know. I'm not sure, actually. But the TV is pulled out right now. So if I were to mount this stand, which is actually back here, it's better to do it now than later. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna worry about this right now. 
I realize I don't need to use all of these screws, obviously. It looks like it's a well-built product. I'm just not going to do this right now, guys, because it's almost 8 o'clock already. Today has really, really gotten away from me. And I just want to get this set up, all this crap off my bed, all this stuff put away. Except for Maui, of course. He's staying out. Right, Maui? I would never put you in storage. But seriously, I will do this eventually. It's just not a priority. I'm happy to say the height is actually fine. I'm in bed. And of course, when I lay down, I'm, I'm going to lose a little bit of... Uh, I don't know. That actually looks really good. I am pleasantly surprised. Now, will I be returning that TV stand, TV riser, whatever you want to call it? No. No, because you never know when I'll need something like that. Especially considering, I think the Samsung TV downstairs, the 46 inch in the basement. I don't know if I'm going to wall mount. Actually, hold on. I have that 50 inch sharp, which is also going in the basement with my 46 inch Samsung. I think I'm going to wall mount one of those. Or both of those. But I have a 55 inch Samsung in the living room that's probably going to go in the basement. So I'm going to have three TVs down there. If you haven't noticed, I kind of like TVs and monitors. I have an obsession. I do. Or maybe I can somehow use the 55 inch Samsung in my living room somewhere in my office. Because my office is being completely, completely redone early next year. That's a possibility. Hey, the more TVs, the better, guys. The more TVs, the freaking better. I love this stuff. I am pleasantly happy with how this looks. Isn't that classy? Got the TV up top. Down here, the Apple TV. Which I prefer to be up front. That way I can see the lights on. And, unlike my cubes, sort of cubes, the cable management is hidden behind these back walls. So, you cannot see anything back there. Which is amazing. And over here is my Xbox One, which is currently not connected. Because I'm out of outlets. I only have two outlets back there. Uh, there's Smokey, right here. There's pictures of Smokey. And Blinks. I still need to get a photo of that printed. I will very soon, I promise. I promise. I mean, especially since I use Shutterfly all the time. And actually, Walmart, I think, has a decent photo printing service. So I might just go there and do it and print it from, like, a flash drive. And I got some books down here. Pictures of the family. A very old picture of my dad and me. Thanks. <laughs> Love it. I mean, I think most of us can agree, guys. This is one classy looking TV stand. And I love how it works with the white on my bed. Not bad, not bad. And I need, I need a new um, comforter. This thing has seen better days. Especially in the summer, this thing doesn't really breathe all that well. In the heat, I mean, it's fantastic during the winter. This thing keeps me warm like a mother. But during the summer, it's okay. But yeah, I'll worry about that later. Okay, so tomorrow's priority is the clean. I didn't really do as much as I wanted to today because this was more involved than I thought it was. Uh, but tomorrow, I'll start cleaning the kitchen. I'm going to fold all these clothes, put them away. This stuff's staying here until after the party because it's going to go in the basement. And those boxes back there, I'm going to finally put away in storage right in there. Today was a good day. I didn't get that much done today, but it was still a good day. God, that looks good. I am genuinely happy with how that looks. It actually looks like a bedroom now, because before, it kind of looked childish with all the toys on there, which by the way, I moved most of those toys into my gaming room. And by toys, I mean collectibles. Got them over there, a bunch of Funko Pops, put a random Angry Birds thing over here. I moved the Fireball uh, bottle from over there to over here. Put Dave over here, so that way he's in the background of the stream. And bada bing, bada boom. You guys can only see so much right now. Okay? Awesome stand. I love it. And if you guys are interested in buying this for yourself, I will link it right below on Amazon. It cost me about $200. Wait, no, no. Or $150. Just click the link to find out. Hey, guys. Trigger David here. I'm very triggered. <laughs> I'm so short on time. It's 6.43, guys. I didn't vlog at all. 
Uh, mom and dad helped me with my house. Thank you very much. You're mom. very welcome. Seriously. Mom cleaned and dad and I did the decorations outside. It's looking good. And I did it? some decorating inside. Yeah. No, but the outside's looking yeah, really it good, is. isn't it? It's great. It actually looks festive. I'm going to give you my sled. I'm going to make a bow. No, I was getting triggered before because some idiot. Not Okay, idiot. They, they said, David, you'll have to return that full of CP. ASAP. You'll thank me later. <laughs> Because the software is laggy. Who uses TV software in 2019? Just buy an Apple TV or a Fire Stick. Honestly. You should never judge a TV by its software. Judge a TV by its picture and its settings and all that stuff. Then again, that's why you shouldn't always listen to Amazon reviews and everything. Um, especially if you know tech like someone like me. They typically know what you're buying. I just get triggered. That's why I love my Pigeons Only vlogs. I don't get crap like that. <laughs> it got it's stuck. stuck in your pocket. Oh, hi! Hi, Mom. I, I need food, too. I haven't eaten all day. You had a bag of popcorn. I'm hangry. Yeah, I had a bag of popcorn. That's true. And I, I think Gail crappy... invented that word, hangry. No, she... D yep, she did. No, she didn't. Is Take she that back. Is she a patron? We'll have this discussion. I don't discussion. think so right now. No. At the party! Okay. Party's gonna be sweet, guys. Stay tuned. All right. We're gonna pizza city to get dinner. I didn't, I didn't vlog you much. Look at us. Thumbnail right there. Okay, let's go. Maybe, I don't know. I was stressed for time, so I brought my Micro Pro with me. Countdown to Christmas 2019, day eight is live. Done. Enjoy. Then I have to edit the vlog tonight. I usually have this edited by now, but I just didn't have time today. Because you've been slacking. Just kidding. You've been sucking too, to be fair. Are you freaking kidding me? No, My I'm saying. I'm saying. Calm down. Just joking. You're slacking. Down. I'm saying that you and I should have gotten more done last no, we week. Should've. We should have. You didn't do want to do it either. I know. I just wanted to eat. <laughs> now we have this week. <laughs> I know. There's no excuses. But we don't really have that much to do. Yeah. Come on, That's dance, man. Beak. Floss. Back up and floss. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Brandon will show me. I think I think that's better than actual flossing. Brandon's coming over. Hold flossing on. is stupid. I thought it was called something else. Unless my friend Stacy does it, then it's borderline cute. Just saying. Aww. So Stacy, if you see this, text me. All right. Has she done it for you? Yeah, she has. She sent me a video of her doing it. Is she the one that's coming to our party? I cringe. Is she the one that's coming from our, I don't our party? So. I Stacey, wish. Stacy, please come. It would be a dream come true. I don't. I don't think she's coming to the party. Stop. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not funny. But David's excited. He wants you to come. I, I, no, I never got my hopes up. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Stacy. I don't even know you, but I love you. She's she's all the way on the West Coast if right David now. David likes you. I like you. Okay, let's go. This sorry, is that let's was go. rude. I mean, yeah, very rude. So I'm, I'm sorry. so sorry. There's the carriage house. Where are my keys? No. I'm looking behind the kitchen. That's where you stop. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Mr. Pants! How you doing? Your cookie? He's not kitty. What are we getting at Pizza City? Did you, show my <gasps> Sorry, Did you step you on him? You no, no, he just moved. Show my tablescape. Do you even know what a tablescape is? Put the light on. It takes the effect away. Isn't it pretty? Very nice. Isn't it nice? See my light? My light has... No, don't, don't, don't Never light. ever control my camera hand. Light! Ever! Oh, it's got greenery and lights in it. Very Isn't nice, it Mom. Very nice. Okay, fine. I'm gonna shut these off to save juice for the house. Juice. Warming. Aren't they LED? Or, what is it called? Battery. I don't want to change batteries. Look at that booty! Thank you. I wish I could show you guys the outside of my house. The decorations are looking really good. I just can't take that risk. Isn't it a shame you can't say or do certain things because there's always those few people out there trying to ruin it for everyone? Yes. I just, I just can't take that risk. It's very sad. Pigeon's vlog, I think I'll show them. No, but then somebody will pay five dollars just to see it. I know. I was thinking life. that. I know. And then stop paying. What a world we live in. All right, let's go. Did you see the picture of the outside? More positivity, less negativity. What? Mom went back inside. To invite our favorite cashier to the party. Since she's been suspended for seven days. <laughs> but for a good her 
I never understand why they get suspended when their tours are over. That, that's interesting. <laughs> I guess that's how it works. Is she, is she coming, you think? I don't know. She said, all right. Is she, is she have my address and everything? Yep, I wrote her address in my cell. I gave her my cell number. Cool. I said, you need to pick me up before you go back to work. From the Christmas party. Maybe. I have a feeling she'll come. Maybe does, she'll bring her and her daddy. She, does she drink? I don't know. Do I know? You don't, need, you don't need the drink to come to the party, by exactly. the way. But you should. Come on. Dreaming of yes. white. Thank you. Penis. It turned. It's getting nice and hot. Nah, 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 nah. Just kidding. What? Oh. <laughs> I'm not on it anymore. <laughs> oh, God, David. No, not just me. Stop. I gotta focus on driving. It's not funny. Is this poop play? No. Yeah. Is it? Snow. Yeah. Well, thank you. Did you play that for me? No, I just happened to come on. You want to mail your envelope? Oh, that's right. Oh, can I show you my P.O. box? Oh, no. No, okay. We're going to get our pizza. <laughs> I know what a P.O. box looks like. We'll actually check it when you give it to somebody. And, and then actually yes. come. Stop. Oh, should I send you something to your P.O. box? Can, can you? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who my first person's going to be who sends me, like, a letter. Guys, whoever the first person is to send th something to David's P.O. box, I'll give you a surprise. Include your return address. Info right below. Really? Yup. Okay. <laughs> like what though? Tell me where you're from. We'll see. Maybe a gift card somewhere. Like your favorite store. By the way, we got our drinks for free, even though they shouldn't have done that because corporate's cracking down. They don't care. No. You sure? <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them, but we, we just got four hot drinks for completely free. <laughs> so if that runner ever closes down, we know why. I felt like I was almost said to them, wow, you really laid low for a long time. One day. <laughs> I know. They charged me the other day. Now they just don't care again. It, it's like... Well, he was there. Yeah. You said. It's, it's like that feeling when you start a new school year. You're like, you know what? I'm going to do all my homework. I right know. I'm gonna keep my notes nice and organized. This year, and within a week. And then a week, you're like, yep, don't care. <laughs> that goes with anything, unfortunately. Like me and Mixer, that, that lasted long. It honestly makes more sense for me to focus on Twitch, though. I've been killing it lately. I've been doing very well. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your support. Pizza City. Okay, now we gotta figure out which one is Sam's. Oh, you got a 20, right? I think he's sitting so down. This is, his. is that him sitting down? This is Sam. This is Sam. That's her! Get your snout out of my pee pee. Okay, what doesn't need to be here? We're, we're That's her! Don't go boy! Yeah, yeah, Take yeah. Off and you like that, don't you? Hey! Hi! Hi, Dad. Nice blanket. Very manly. Hold on, look. We, we got some free appetizers. I don't know. Sure. I don't care. Here. Okay. Totally hold on, hold on! Okay, there you go. Oh, jeez. I want to protect the wood. What did he give us? All right. Oh, there are mozzarella sticks. Ooh. We got poppers <laughs> and mozzarella sticks. It's so nice having that small town vibe at Pizza City because we get free food all the time. We do. It's nice knowing people, you know? And their, and their poppers are amazing. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. So cheesy. Hi, Maui. And just like that, I am home. Guys, I'm wrapping the vlog. It's already 10.30 at night. I have a lot to do. Primarily edit the vlog. Oh, look, I took my toaster oven down. This is gonna be a dedicated hot cocoa station for the Christmas party. Uh, we're gonna have stuff there for visual weight reasons so it looks better. Uh, but yeah guys, stay tuned. This coming weekend is going to be insane. It's gonna be insane. I'm gonna get to see so many of my friends that I've made online. I'm gonna get to see friends that I haven't seen in a long time like my friend Chris, who I still think is my best friend but I don't really see him that often. He doesn't see me often just cause of our Difference in schedules. Hey, it's what happens when you get older, right? There was something on my screen. So right now, confirmed, I think we have about 60 people. Confirmed. 
confirmed. And, you know, there's always people out there who don't RSVP. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Thank you so much for your support. If you do want to continue to support me outside of YouTube, please consider pledging. For $2, you get early access to videos like this. And of course, for $5, which in my opinion is the best value, you get one exclusive vlog every week, as well as access to over 200 exclusive vlogs from the past. DavidsPatreonCampaign.com has a full list of vlogs dating back to 2015. 2015, guys, we're talking about four years worth of content. It's insane. I mean, especially considering each video gets what? Between four and six hundred views on average. So that just means that I'm putting the time in, I'm putting the work in, and I appreciate you guys so much. And if you can't pledge, that's perfectly fine. I just appreciate the fact that you're watching this video, and of course that you're watching my other videos and all that stuff. Your support means a lot. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next weekend of Vlogity Vlog Christmas Party 2019. They're in there? Hi guys! Careful! <laughs> Are you guys okay? It's fine. It's an Ashley camera. It's meant to fall. Sorry. Are you screwed? <laughs>